There are questions in mathematics to which the answer seems obvious, but sometimes a closer look shows that we've missed something. An example of this is when we take the square root of a square. What's the result? Let's discover the maths. Think about it. The square root of x squared. Your first reaction might be to say that the square and the square root just cancel each other out, always leaving us with x. Can it really be that simple? Well, the answer is no. Take the case where x equals minus 1, so that we have the square root of minus 1 squared. If we assume that taking the root and then squaring always gets us back to the starting value, then we might conclude without thinking that the result has to be minus 1. But consider this. Minus 1 squared is 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. Well, that contradicts our previous result because 1 doesn't equal minus 1. So the previous property we assumed isn't true. The key fact to remember is that the square root of something is always positive. So we shouldn't say that the square root of x squared is x. Instead, because the result must always be positive, we should refer to the absolute value of x. In other words, the square root of x squared equals the absolute value of x. Let's check that this is always valid. We can do this by squaring the absolute value of x and noticing that we always get x squared. The absolute value of x is x when x is positive and minus x when x is negative. In the first case, we have the square of x, which is x squared. In the second case, we have the square of minus x. And since a negative squared is positive, the result is again x squared. So whatever case we're dealing with, the square root of x squared is equal to the absolute value of x. By the way, the question we've been dealing with here is different than asking what are the solutions to the equation x squared equals 1. This is a polynomial of degree 2 and has two different solutions, x equals 1 and x equals minus 1. It's a completely different scenario. As always on this channel, we encourage you to think about the underlying math that you're doing and not just blindly apply some rule that you believe to be true. Taking the square root of a square isn't the same as cancelling the root. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.